Hey guys, it's Anya. Welcome back to my channel. And I'm here with you to share my weekly empties. Um, I have one, two, sorry, two wax, non wax items that I finished off. Um, and then we'll get to my wax. Um, I just want to share the size of this. <laughs> but anyway, um, so the first things first is I finished off. Uh, a tab of Fiji flower washer whiffs. These are like in the wash scent boosters and this is something I purchased I think in a sense club or a party closeout a few months ago. Ugh, this is one of the only floral scents that I had fallen in love with and it was from like a summer collection and then they brought it back in the catalog. Ugh, so strong. I love this because um, the, my like laundry preferences are kind of like either like the fruity clean type scents or citrus clean um sometimes i can get away with like the lavender type ones i'm just not the white florals type but this was divine and i will definitely look forward to getting some more of that i love that they changed the artwork on the tubs they just are just more appealing and I mean purple and pink and green hello and then I finished off another bag of my Amazon cotton balls love these these are triple size but they're just like basically like super like the jumbo ones and they're very dense and um yeah Amazon has been really rocking it with those and let's get to the empties. I'm going to do clams first and then um, we'll move on to bags. And of course, it looks like I forgot one of the scent note descriptions. Um, so Redberry Spruce. This is from the Sense of the uh, Seasons collection, I think 2021. This is so pretty. This has got like raspberry, strawberry, and spruce but it's also like got kind of like a snow or like a it's not astringent is basically what I'm getting at so like whatever those extra notes are on top of the tree they don't really they're not really harsh and this is this has been one of my favorite Christmas tree scents that they've ever done um, and I'm really glad that I was saved it for this winter so I could enjoy it and I am gonna miss it because <laughs> it's one of my favorites but it's not like you know since he doesn't roll out new bars every season next up I actually finished last night is graham cracker crunch and this is caramelized graham cracker layered with crunchy peanut butter and creamy vanilla bean I love this one the peanut butter and the caramel caramelized graham cracker it basically just smells kind of like you are making a fluffer nutter sandwich but on graham crackers and the graham cracker is more dominant than the peanut butter and the, the vanilla but it this is the surely missed bar I have one left in my sash and until I get a graham cracker oil I will be hoarding it like a mad woman and then I did a mix. Um, I did bayberry and currant. I think this was last year in the last year sense of the season. Oh, so strong. Um, this is a wreath of peppery bayberry and fresh juniper adorned with bright currant. Uh, I don't know if I like juniper, but I did enjoy this, but I would use this sparingly. If you come across this in either like the D-Stash groups or it pops up in a sale, it is very strong. You could scent your entire open concept if you have low ceilings and small like mine <laughs> uh, with two cubes and warmers on the opposite end of the room. It's such a banger. Um, so because it was so harsh, I tried to mix it with this marshmallow blend from L3. This is Adipose. Um, jet puff mallow mallow fluff and toasted marshmallow um it didn't really it didn't really touch it it didn't do jack but this is good but it also has like a little perfumey note 
and I don't know if that's coming from the toasted mallow or this specific marshmallow, if it's like a gourmand perfume marshmallow, I don't know. I do know that I got this in a D-Sasho, who knows how old it was, but it was, um, by itself is good. I tried to calm down the wreath and the juniper in this and it didn't work, but this was a strong performer. Had to take it out. <laughs> oh. Um, let me do this last Scentsy one. And then we'll move on to Vendor. So I finished up a brick of one of the holiday bricks. I chopped it up and put it in this Mylar bag. Crimson Berry Christmas. Uh, comforting your crimson berries. Highlight the excitement of Christmas morning with bursts of sweet cinnamon that warms a crisp snow apple. What the heck is a snow apple? I don't know. But this is just a lovely berry and apple slightly cinnamon wax strong performer <sighs> I think it was like one one or two brick cubes left I am so glad this is done I like apple and I like berry I like cinnamon I think if you really love a scent don't buy it in a brick get it in your bar in your Scentsy Club, so you don't tire of it so quickly. Um, I did love that. I got that in a brick bundle with Marshmallow Mint Cocoa, and to this day, I'm still having a hard time finishing Marshmallow Mint Cocoa because it's just a lot of one scent, and when you warm it so much, it kind of it kind of just it doesn't hit those heartstrings. You know what I mean? Um, okay, that is it for Scentsy. Um, okay, next up is Holiday Dry from Kay's Scented Melt. You guys, this is going to be a definite repurchase for me. This is Fraser Fur Espresso and Bake Shop. It was heaven. I warmed, I think a good, like maybe four or five hours, then I changed it out, but I kept the wax and I poured it in like a little souffle tin, cooled it down, and then warmed it again in my kitchen when I had something else going on out here. This is such an amazing blend. <sighs> and as it cured in my little collection that I've had, or since I got this, I basically got this in October, in the two months that I had it, more of that espresso in the big shop came out. It was fantastic and I'm definitely gonna be getting a few more clams of that next year. Hopefully she keeps it in her scent list because that was bomb. Next up, oh, and I did warm that, yeah, here in the open concept and in the kitchen. Um, this is Softbound, Dead of the Night. I think this is pink sugar, yeah, pink sugar, lavender, marshmallows, and vanilla. This one was really lovely too. Oh, so I did four cubes here in the open concept and also the same night I put two cubes in my two warmers so one one cube per warmer in my bedroom pink sugar lavender is always going to be a winner in my book lab i think it's the, like the lavender marshmallow oil and then maybe the vanilla note is in that but this this combo was great it's just so pretty <laughs> so pretty and it was that one was a solid performer too Okay, so I finished off today a bakery bag of Ava's Country Cupboard and Christmas Cookies, which is a buttery sugar cookie with vanilla butter, cream frosting. Um, I actually have it here currently on my desk, still going. Um, I've had it in since about six, so it's probably teetering off by now, as most vanilla bakery blends do, but it's so good. And I I'm make, make, making sure to put Traverse City on my vendor list to attempt to buy from next year, or at least soon. And now we have bags on bags on bags. Oh, and this is an interesting empty, but I wanted to share this because these two in combination plus an extra oil were fantastic in a blend that I did. Um, so I have a candy corn oil and pumpkin spice buttercream. Huh. This is my attempt in duping another scent, but with a little twist. 
our scent blend and I have it currently curing in my fall basket stash. Mm, it's so good. If you haven't tried candy corn and wax, it's fantastic. Mixed with like a pumpkin note, it is so good. So I think, yeah, those are only one ounce bottles. Um, I think I still have some more left. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> but anyways, I've, I've poured quite a few, like four ounce clams, four and a half ounce clams of that. So I can have plenty for next year. Okay. Let's see if I can get these in any particular order, which they're not because I literally warmed a little bit of everything. Yeah. Okay. So I only have two from L3. So the first one is a recent purchase of Christmas cakes. This is fantastic. This is sugar cookie royale pine and birthday cake. Gave me the idea of what everyone has been talking about. Mixing tree, Christmas tree with sweet bakery or heavy bakery. Yeah, I really did like this. So this was three elf shapes. And I did two worms out of them, so I cut each elf or in snowflake in half because um, they were pretty big. Oh, super, super yummy. I am going to be making another purchase of that next year. It was really, really good. And actually, I'm going to save that to put in my binder of uh, vendors of scents that I want to get again. And I'm definitely getting this one again. This one is Sugar Shortbread Palo Santo and Eggnog. This was so good, so good. I don't know what it is about the Palo Santo and the eggnog, but the spice notes and the eggnog played very well with that Palo Santo. Oh, yeah, and it kind of gave me like a twist on today's October 3rd with like, and I say it like a holiday twist since it has eggnog and the, sh uh, the sugared shortbread. It was so good. Definite repurchase. And it was pretty solid too. I say medium to medium strong. Um, in my bedroom, I did, I split this with my sister, so I had like one cube, but I cut it in four pieces. This is Swanky Candle Co. and Bougie Vanilla, Blackberry Scones, and Cake Pops. This was light to me. Um, maybe I need to get a tea light warmer from my bedroom. This is really pretty. It was like a body care gourmand blackberry vanilla scent, and I did pick up on that scone note. And you get like a vanilla musk. Oh, it was so pretty on cold. But I, again, I didn't really get much performance out of that one. Y'all, I finished up a, my first mini loaf of Latte Daw second and spruce. Um, and this was from June. And I've been kind of like, I don't want to melt coffee every day. But this is one of my favorites. And I do have another snap bar of this. Um, this is espresso, brown sugar, pecans, and pound cake. It's a boomer like you can get away with putting like a small quarter ounce of piece of wax in all of your warmers and it'll throw for hours you can also do like half an ounce in a tea light and again for hours <laughs> so this is a very very strong espresso bakery blend and a definite repurchase for me and I had to triple bag my coffee scents from Erica so they wouldn't get onto all my other second and spruce blends <laughs> but it was really good um next up is Britta's Santa's been poisoned which is golden or I'm sorry sugar cookie royale sugar cookie dough peanut butter cookies and chocolate chip cookie dough oh, this was a very sweet doughy beautiful blend I had like it was like a little pumpkin witch shape so I cut that in threes and I put it in like a triangular formation here in the open concept. And it was so good. It didn't last very long as you would expect with most bakeries. I guess because it, there's no spice or anything. And if you were worried about the chocolate in the chocolate chip cookie dough, don't be. I got more of it on cold, but while it was warming, I got more of the sugar cookie royale and sugar cookie dough. I didn't pick up any of the peanut butter cookies. I think they just kind of increase the nuttiness of the butter notes that you would get in a cookie and it was great um, I think I did this last night in my tea light this is pistachio pudding cake from K's it was like a little gingerbread man sample 
and with some other kind of cookie scent. It was after I was done cooking and I didn't want to like waste wax because it's like a I made onion onion crusted chicken last night so it was very strong very aromatic and nothing I didn't want to waste wax basically because it was going to linger whether I wanted it to or not so I just enjoyed this while I had it very cherry almond based pistachio but it was very very yummy I just scored a bag of this in the RTS last night Christmas Eve and Cookie Land from Rose Girls this is always going to be a repurchase for me. This is eggnog, royal sugar cookie, monster cookie, marshmallow smoothie, smoothie, marshmallow smoothie, and donut holes. Ah, oh, it's just so good. That eggnog is the more prominent note, but then you get that other medley of sweet, crunchy cookies, donut holes. Like, sign me up 24-7. I need to have this in constant rotation. I'm hoping... I can hold off on warming all of the bag that I bought because I only bought one because, <laughs> you know, balling on a budget, but <clears throat> um, it is coming. So I'm very happy to have that. And I also got a, another bag of Koopa Claws is coming to town and like four other cookie type scents. And I'm so excited. Um, and it's solid, solid performers. It's like eight hours as with, is mo with most of my Rose Girls, um, but that's okay. I enjoy it because by the time this is tapered off or any of my Rose Girls, I'm ready for something else. So, um, next up is that Smell Good Shop in a Leather Face. This is a zucchini bread, caramel, vanilla, and butter cookie. Delicious, delicious. I love zucchini bread. I don't know if her butter cookie is like Danish butter cookies or sugar shortbread, but the combination with that caramel vanilla and the zucchini bread, banger. Loved it. I want to get some more. Finish this off in my bedroom. This was a like a brick bar of Dash of Sanity, and this is salted caramel, blackberry jam, butter cookies, and pumpkin pecan waffles. I think the prominent note for me in this is the salted caramel. I had a really hard time smelling the blackberry jam butter cookies. I would have liked to have that more. Um, and I'm still in the quest to find caramel I enjoy. So that was cool. Enjoyed it. I don't know if I would get it again. But I would be getting something with blackberry jam butter cookies. Because that one is amazing. And then lastly. Yeah, lastly. Is Cheshire's Grin. And this was a gift from Summer. Um, which is uh, from Vintage Chic Scents. This is lavender birthday cake topped with cotton candy frosting and marshmallows. I want to make something like this. <laughs> so, lavender birthday cake. It For me, like, the lavender wasn't super prominent. But it was just paired beautifully well with that birthday cake and the cotton candy frosting and the marshmallows. It was just a sweet, beautiful lavender bakery blend. Can't get this anymore because Kirby's closed. But I may try to see if I can find some more in a D-slash or try to... I'm going to keep this bag. <laughs> so I can try to like make something similar. Um, because it was just that good. And that is it, you guys. That is all that I've warmed through. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope you guys are having a great melting week. And I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye.